Welcome to the Forex, and here we're looking at the US dollar, and uh, yesterday we're expecting it to uh, retest uh, 80, and that's what it's doing at the moment, and if we drill in here and have a bit of a look at this here, we're looking at it uh, in this particular uh, fashion here. I'm just looking at the retracement levels that we'll have here. So we're pretty much in, in the ballpark uh, here of... Um, of uh, this rally maturing uh, here. The thing is, is that we've got um, we've got we've got five waves down through here, so we should get three waves back up through here, and that should be ending very shortly. Um, however, if I'm wrong, we always need to look at the flip side of things. So, if we actually get uh, one, two, three, four, and five here like this, then uh, that's when I'm wrong and then we'll get a counter trend here and then we'll see further upside but um, as it stands we should see this work lower um, pretty much from this area through here um, of course the euro on the other on the flip side here just going back to the weekly again here and you know this trend line through here is you know it's, it's really still holding this through here and so until we get a break here it's um you know it's still it's still under that resistance there so I'm just just Thought I'd point that out, but you know that already, I'm sure. Um, in the smaller size here, degree, we are looking at uh, five wave structure to the upside. That's obviously completed now. Um, this, I thought there may be another little wave up through here, and um, uh, it, but obviously it's not the case. Um, it won't be the case if this if this moves down and overlaps wave one here. But if it stops here and pushes up, we could still have a little five wave, uh, or maybe not so much clearer, but uh, a five wave structure that would look sort of a bit like this here and still get our ABC across here. It's just that um, the situation in the uh, in the Ukraine is, uh, is dominating the, uh, especially the euro here as well. I mean, the DAX was down three and a half percent last night out of out of the indices that we track anyway. Um, it's obviously closer to the situation and has more, um, you know, more to lose over over that uh, situation. So, um, yeah. So, a couple of things here. If the uh, if the um, well, this is the one thirty seven here. But if this 137.20 here becomes the retested resistance, then we can expect further downside. And of course, the 137 itself as resistance um, will obviously be that as well. But as it stands, we've only got three waves to the downside. So we've actually got a corrective situation occurring uh, here. And in this leg here, we'll be looking for uh, five waves in, in there that is not quite finished just yet either. But if we do get uh, five waves down here, just we need to look at this, if we get five waves down, then we'll get a counter trend and then we'll get another five down. So we need to, uh, you know, the Ukraine thing may get out of hand, it may not, probably not. But, um, you know, if it does, then this is sort of what we're looking at uh, through here. Um, but just drilling in there somewhat here as it stands at the moment. Um, I'm just sort of counting this down from, the, I mean, this is what we were looking at yesterday and we're looking for up for wave one, back for wave two. And we could see this is one, two, three, four, five, and back for four. But I was just thinking, and I can see the fifth wave in here, but it's just a little bit small compared to this structure here, um, which it should have been roughly the same size, but it's really kept. But anyway, there you go. So it's um, all squashed up in there. But as it reads at the moment, then this would be one, two, three, cross for four here and down for five to here. Then as an A and a B and a C wave that's not finished. So it would be down for in the C wave, it would be down for one, back for two, down for three, four and five, coming down here a bit further. So that's why the 72 here, the 137.20, that became the retested resistance along with the 137, I guess, at a later stage. Then you know that we've got a sort of cascading uh, larger wave three to the downside and we'll see further downside there but we should just allow this to play out and allow the US dollar to the upside to um, to play out as well and obviously keep an eye on um, all news events that are um, coming out because these markets are headline driven now. Um, the Australian dollar uh, first of all um, being under under the closest largest number creates weakness so it's got a bias of being bearish um, however we don't have a 
clean five waves down to d- d- down yet. I mean, we could do in terms of down for one, back for two, three, four, and five as an as a sort of leading uh, triangle to the to the downside. But um, and we'll and we'll leave that there as as the wave one as well uh, as such. But it also counts reasonably well as an A and a B and a C down to here as well. So it could push up through here, but we wouldn't look at being long unless we had you know a nice support sitting on um on 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 90 there so that's where we would go long so while it's here we need to first of all look at uh, a a retest to to the 90 or to supply areas through through here some sort of effort made here and then if if new lows come in well then we'll look for um short setup so what's just on the five minute chart here um, looking at the looking at this five minute chart here, this move up through here is in three waves. So, if the eighty nine twenty here becomes the retested resistance, then look to short it f- from in here. But it will bounce a lot, you know, off, off these levels here. So you'd only get a very small position um, at the <clears throat> eighty nine. 20 as a retested resistance there so once again the retested resistance is if the market came down here it obviously bounce off here work its way through the breakout's important but it's only part of the process like it is here so what we'd be looking for here is the reference point here and then we'd be looking for uh, a break of that here same with this one here if that was the case here so that's the setup that you would be looking for here um, but the 20, the number two here is a pivot within group one, one, two, and three. So resistance here would send the market back to the 89 here. Um, and then you'd have to wait for that to become the retested resistance as well. Um, so shorting down into group one is never uh, a favorite thing of mine because I know that it, it can just bounce around a lot and um, it's a bit annoying. But um, it's an opportunity to, to get at least a small, a very, very small position in um, on the retest of uh of the 20 if uh, at that stage there if the um if the 8930 becomes a support then it's further to the upside and you know it it's it, and, and it's quite normal for, it's quite easy for, for it to do that because we've got the arrival the reaction the first high above the level the a the b and the c as long as this doesn't become the retested resistance yes it can spike down but we don't want it to become you know the the, the resistance as such then it, that's the weak point there but it can spike down and find support here move back up through here find there and move up through here we've got the rba uh rate announcement at 2 30 today so there's partly the the idea of, of running it up so uh, perhaps look for the short at um at 2 30 but have all the orders set up in the market Alrighty, um the euro australian um, anything to do with the euro across the board is going to be weak and that's what we're seeing here the euro yen the euro australian and and so on you know and uh even even the any even the, even the pound uh us dollar so to speak that's going to be weaker as well so anything coming out of europe uh will be on the on the weak side and um <clears throat> what we were looking for here is that we're looking for um or from this point here, the 152 here, we're looking for one, two, three, four, and five to the upside. But if this comes down through the 153 here, then it's going to give us overlapping wave structures and create a bearish pattern. So just drilling into that a little bit through here, um, <clears throat> we're looking at all this being wave one, wave two, and wave three here. But if this moves down, you know, back below the 153 here then we've got uh you know a real weakness in there at that point but at the time at the, at the moment we should just consider this an a and a b and a c they can come down a little bit further so drilling into that somewhat here we're looking at this as a five wave structure down for an a and a b and a c wave here that's not finished yet or make a new low under here so it's still got further to go down so 15350 would be about the um about the distance here so we just i mean this is a bit too far for a wave four but i want to accommodate it because it's headline driven and we need the actual structure itself to play out if we've got uh of as it stands a three wave structure down to here and there'll be five waves in this little structure here um but if it plays out further and it should move up from that point but if it plays out one two three four and then five here then we we know we're going to get a corrective move here and then we're going to get another five down the same length as this here so we'll be back at the 150 at that point 
and we'd have to look at this whole move up as a as a b a larger b wave which i think that we were looking at in terms of the uh daily chart here at one stage um here uh, because it was the uh, 61.8 retracement level of this move down here so we had alternative wave a here this would make this alternative wave b here and then alternative wave c down through here which would be the wave four and c down over through here but let's just see how this plays out first before we make any uh brash uh, statements and moves on this one here um the pound uh yen as well yesterday we were talking about this moving lower anyway um so it's doing that now the 50 percent retracement levels at 168 and um we're you know we're counting this as it's pretty odd looking but um uh, corrective to this point and looking for five waves down so still further to come down through to here and uh, should be short from that point uh, just checking at this yeah from the 169 here let me just count this so we've got uh, basically we've got one two here and then we're looking down for the third wave to here so there's going to be a fourth wave here and then a fifth wave down here because in the third wave here you can see that we've got one two nice strong third wave fourth wave and fifth wave here so expect a bounce and a retest back from the from this 169 area through here then another move down from that point uh the euro uh yen as well <clears throat> just on the 15 minute chart here the same as the other crosses here they're all weak here as well um looking at uh this moving down further as well this would be um pretty much one two th three four five so this would be the fifth wave to here um so it still it's it still has further to 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 move down so we could see this down at 13850 area through here so 13850 to 138 through here um i mean realistically we should be looking at this move down through here we should be looking at this same distance over here for this one here as well so keeping stops above this particular 13953 should do the trick to get you down there lower all right uh thanks for listening